This is a Game Caviar production. Live calm, as always. Well, not as always, but now it's live calm. See, you see, you see, you see, you see. Am I going to get lucky or am I going to get dead? The reason why I... First blood. The reason why I'm doing this video is because I was on the internet today and I saw a report that said the new Black Ops game, Black Ops 2, coming out in November, has already been leaked online. And a guy by the name of uh, IHC James has already hacked it. Now, hold on. Oh, get to him. What? Ah! I wish they really would take this crap out of the game. Anyway, according to, uh, what is that? I1692 on my YouTube page. He uh, commented on my last video where I briefly talked about Black Ops 2 being hacked. He was saying that it was a, uh, what did he say? The leaked version is a demo build with dev tools to be accessed. The actual version isn't compromised. If that's true, and I'm hoping that it is, then all is well. We don't have anything to worry about. The thing that I'm concerned about, that I'm concerned, is concerned about? Concerned? I'm, I'm concerned about this whole issue. Because if it happens to be that, um... Ah, yeah. You got shot up, didn't you? Oh, come on! If this guy... Actually, let's look at the the uh, the worst case scenario. If this guy actually was able to to hack a copy of Black Ops 2, like he said he did, that that just puts a damper on the whole situation. I mean, um, I don't know what Treyarch and Infinity Ward tries to do to stop people from hacking. I know they're good at putting knives in the game that don't work. Okay, I got killed by the helicopter. Again, I was mistaken. The kill cam proves me wrong again. But, I, I, you know, I just don't want to get a game. I don't want to rush out and spend $60 on a game that's going to be quickly hacked. This, uh, it, it worries me. It, and it, and it, it does, and it should worry a lot of people. I don't want to spread hysteria amongst the uh, ranks of the Call of Duty community, but... I'm sure I'm not the only person that thought, you know, holy crap, if this is real, then this is going to be pretty bad. Because if anybody has played Call of Duty 4 or World of War recently, then you would know that the um, this hackers run wild in that game, and it's not good at all, you know? And it really ruins the gaming uh, experience. Now, I saw the video. I did. And it wasn't on YouTube. They took them down off of YouTube uh, for obvious reasons. But uh, what I saw was some classic hacker stuff. Like he was flying through the the, uh, the level. And it looks like he, he might have had some sort of aimbot. Uh, that's what it looked like to me. Uh... He also had the thing that they do in uh, World of War a lot where they just, uh, the like you switch to your secondary, but instead of the secondary, it's uh, your hands. So you see the guy's hands like he's holding a gun, but he's not holding anything, and he was using that to shoot near the end of the video. It's just, it's, it's one of those situations that I don't want to see as a gamer, so I really, I honestly hope that Treyarch does more to implement uh, these uh, hacker blockers. I want them to put hacker blockers in the game. I don't want to see hackers. I don't want to get hacked while I'm playing the game. I don't want to see dudes flying them around the map and using, um, what is it, uh, aim bots and things like that. It's something that doesn't need to be in the game. And it, it honestly does. It honestly doesn't, actually. I don't, I don't want to see it in the game. I know you don't want to see it in the game. So, um, I'm pretty sure Treyarch saw that and was like, holy crap. And the whole developer thing may be a cover-up. Maybe it's damage control. I don't know. 
but coming from a strictly uh, uh, gamer perspective, and I call myself a pretty hardcore gamer, you know, I game a lot. Um, this is something that will cause concern to a lot of people. So, if you have spare time, go to Google, search for uh, Black Ops 2 League IHC James, and uh, the, the video should come up. And when it comes up, take a look at it, see what you think, and if you think that this is going to be a big deal or a big issue, or do you think that it's going to be taken care of by the time November rolls around? I mean, we still have a couple months before the game is released, so theoretically, Treyarch has a lot of time to just go ahead and um, fix the game, so to speak, you know, take care of it. Uh, I didn't like that last match, so I'm going to record another match because we got stomped the last game. Did I, did I get hacked last game? Did I get hacked? I hope I didn't get hacked. Do you think I got hacked? I don't think I got hacked. I think we just got beat badly. I can't just... Every time we get beat in a match, I'm not going to be like, Oh, they're hackers! And I've seen people do that. I've seen people... And it hasn't come to me, but I've seen people to where they're like, Oh my God, how'd you get such a good score? You guys are hacking. You're hackers. You're hackers. If a guy does really good in the game, okay, maybe he's just really good at that game. So, say for instance, I go 20 and 4. That means I had a good match. It doesn't mean I'm hacking. If I go 84 and 0, okay, maybe there's a good possibility that I'm hacking the game. I don't hack games. I got hacked in Modern Warfare 2. Uh, Call of Duty 4 and uh, if you play Modern Warfare 3 on uh, PC there is a hacker that I know of and he went undefeated got a Moab and everything and he didn't care he was like yeah I'm hacking so what what are you gonna do about it you know he had that whole I'm hacking mentality and uh, I mean you know if that's what you want to do it's not cool you should probably um playing traffic a little bit because it's just wrong for people to do that it's you take out the essence of the game being fun and I don't understand what you honestly can get out of that knowing that you that you're hacking the game and that you're you know doing whatever it's just like those guys who boost you are running around the map and then you see two guys hiding in the back somewhere just boosting and uh if you're not familiar with the term boosting, all it is is that two guys would get together and they would go somewhere in the map and what they would do is they would, uh, they, what the hell? They would go and one guy would kill each other, kill the other guy and uh, maybe it'll go, you know, the one guy keep killing one guy. And what they're doing is they're just getting basically free experience points so they can level up faster in the game. I haven't noticed any boosting in Black Ops. I don't go out and look for boosters, but I'm sure it's happened. You know, every Call of Duty game is like that. You see some guys that are boosting, and you're like, come on, man, what the hell are you doing? You're going to have to get your experience just like everybody else by doing the objective, playing the objective, killing, other, killing the enemy, and uh, completing the challenges. This game isn't hard. Battlefield... It's hard to rank up. It's a hundred levels in that game, and it takes you forever to rank up. I have played Battlefield 3 since it came out. I had it since it was released, and the game itself is very good, and I've played it a lot, especially since Premium came out. And I will say that uh, I am a level... I'm, I'm not... I don't even think I'm a level 30 in that game yet. And... A game like that, it's going to take you a while to um, to level up. But even then, there's no reason for you to need to go and start boosting. So all you guys that boost and hack and do all this stupid crap in the game, just just cut it out. Like, I don't get it. What, what do you get from that? Like, uh, honestly, if you see this video and you are a... a Call of Duty booster or a hacker, 
please tell me what I don't agree with it I'm not gonna judge you just let me know exactly what do you get out of it is it I don't get I, I mean I, I'm trying to understand the mindset of a guy or girl or a person a player who gets on this game and just hacks and and does all sorts of weird crap that kills the match kills the game kills the spirit of the game which is to just be competitive and try to do your best without cheating so I want to know I'm putting like write me an open letter you know just say hey I'm a hacker this is why I do it blah 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 and you know we'll talk about it I don't I you know I it I hate it I don't agree with it but if that's what you like to do I'm not gonna be able to stop you from doing it and you know this so uh, all I'm wanting to know is why do you do it and what you know how how is that making the game fun by doing something like that oh yeah look at that gone uh-huh and I'm gonna call in my spot plane hope it doesn't get shot down whoa 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 what the okay guy snuck up behind me these live comms are fun man I like doing this I really do it keeps me on my toes I really need to uh, pay more attention to my uh, what the hell spawn fail um I haven't played Black Ops in a while. Uh, I'm on Xbox. I really haven't played on Xbox in a long time. I enjoyed uh, Black Ops. When I the first time I played Black Ops, I was actually uh, deployed. I'm in the military, but um, and I hated this game. I was like, this game sucks. It sucks so bad, and I and I absolutely despise this game. After I came back home, I started playing it more. I started. Uh, I played it for like 30 days straight at my time off, and it was like. I started to like this game a lot and the reason why is because a lot of the stuff that you have in Modern Warfare 3 you don't have in this game and I was listening to uh, I was watching a Chris Smooth video and he was saying that um, of course Modern Warfare 3 is easier because you got the stackable kill streaks and you got the guns that just uh, like the ACR that has little or no recoil and he was right about a lot of that stuff because in Black Ops, you don't have the stackable kill streaks. The guns, uh, you you have to have a little bit more skill to use the guns, and it's just a more, you you just you have to put more effort into this game to actually be successful in it. So, um, yeah, man, let me know what you think. If you watch the video, let me know about that. And if you're a hacker in this game, please, no judgment. Just let me know what you get out of hacking in this game. I don't care about boosters. I know what you're getting out of it. You're just being sissies and you don't know how to play the game correctly for whatever reason or you're lazy. But um, if you're a hacker in this game, just let me know what you get out of it and we'll talk about it. All right? Not having it in the Game Caviar Studio. This is another live call with Black Ops. It's going to give me a heart attack. I'm out. I'll talk to y'all later. This has been a Game Caviar production. Like this video and subscribe for more.